It is a building that seems out of place against the backdrop of a CPS Energy substation. What had been a saloon and beer garden dating back to the 1870s won't be there much longer. Yeah, I've noticed it before, but I didn't know the significance. Mm -hmm. If the Conservation Society of San Antonio can help it, though, this will not be done away with. Jesse DeGriato talks about the push to save what's said to be one of the last buildings of its kind in San Antonio. Almost 150 years before this property at 10th and Alamo was owned by CPS Energy, Summer Saloon and Beer Garden was the place to go to drink and discuss the issues of the day. Owned and operated by German immigrants, Francis and Albertina Summers had a home between the saloon and a bowling alley that they also had. It's said that a member of the Summers family years later would become the general manager of city public service. Now known as CPS Energy, they say the utility had agreed to save the building while expanding its substation. And then last Friday I came out and they were taking down the roof. Why would you not save that building, renovate that building, and celebrate that building as part of your own history? They say the expected demolition was given administrative approval by the city's Office of Historic Preservation instead of going before the Historic Design and Review Commission. OHP says that's because only two of the three criteria were met for a historic landmark designation. The Office of Historic Preservation says it didn't give a landmark designation because of all the alterations that were made to the building over the years. But they say other than a few extra windows... It hasn't changed significantly since its very beginnings in the 1870s. She says anything else that changed wasn't there when it was originally built. You just have to look at it. That tells you a story of the late 19th century by those big limestone blocks beyond comprehension to me it seems like a really reckless race to the future asked if legal action is possible we're exploring all possible options near downtown jesse de Goyado, case at 12 news well cps energy says it went through the historic review process for its expansion of the substation serving downtown and the growth along broadway its statement also reads, we have committed to the preservation of the limestone block and other materials, and they will be provided to the city of San Antonio for potential reuse or other cultural projects. CPS Energy secured the building to ensure it is safe. You can read their full statement right now on KSAT.com. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.